Hello again, welcome to Red Barn Acres. Now today, no, we're not going to do a shooting video because YouTube does not allow kids under 18 to shoot guns on film. So we don't want to risk being demonetized or losing our channel because we've got a minor with a gun. So today, we're just going to instead teach Ellis how to grill chicken, how to barbecue chicken. This is my boy Ellis, he's 13. So. Ellis, go ahead. We're going to take some charcoal, charcoal lighter fluid, and a charcoal grill lighter, and we're going to put the charcoal in the grill. So go ahead. Alright, so he knows how to open a bag of charcoal. So you just pull that string, that comes out. Alright, what I want you to do now is just go ahead and pour some charcoal in there and make a nice little pile. We're only going to put charcoal on one side. Yeah, that's enough. We'll just stack it up a little better. Okay. Go ahead and stack it in kind of a square and bring it over to the left a little, away from the edge of the... Yeah. You can pick them up and actually move yeah. them over to the other I was, side. I was trying to do that. Yeah. Is that about right? All right, well, what I kind of want to see is a little bit more organized and a little bit flatter. Okay. So take these, put them over here, make kind of a, a low mound right. that, that's more square or rectangular, Right. and take the ones off the edge and put them toward the middle. And that's a, that's a pretty good stack right there because we kind of want it wide but not too tall. So now, you're going to have to put some lighter fluid on it because this is not self-start charcoal. So go ahead and break your finger trying to open that. <laughs> Got it. All right. Okay. So go ahead and just spray that liberally. And I told you what the word liberal meant the other day. Yep. You don't want to grow up to be one. But spray this on here really good. Get, right. it, get everything soaking wet. I'm trying not to spray myself with it. Uh, it might happen, but it'll evaporate. Yep. Okay. That's going to be good. Alright. Now, are we going to light it immediately? No. No? Why? Because it's not going to cook all the way. Well, what will happen if you, um, if you light it immediately, it will burn off the charcoal lighter fluid off the outside, but not give it time to soak into the charcoal. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause, wait a few minutes, and come back and light this. Alright, so while the charcoal lighter fluid is soaking into the charcoal, we'll go into the ingredients about what we're going to cook tonight. Alright, here's our pile of stuff that we're going to use. We're going to use a couple of measuring cups, a spray nozzle, uh, we're going to use a free-range chicken, and soon we'll have our own free-range chickens, pasture-raised chickens out in our field. We're going to use a couple of red onions from the garden, a couple squash, some Sweet Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce, some Dr. Pepper, some lemon juice, some salt and pepper. We're going to use some Himalayan salt for another mix and some white vinegar. So Ellis is now going to mix up a wash that I use to spray on the chicken while it's being cooked to keep it from drying out and also helps make it nice and tender. So what we use in this is vinegar lemon juice and salt and we're going to use a Himalayan pink salt in this one. So go ahead and put about a half a cup of lemon juice in. Fill it on up to about a cup and a quarter mark with uh, vinegar. That's good. That's close. Alright, now for the salt, I'll pour it in just to kind of show you how much. I don't have an exact measure. What we want to do is just Pour a, uh, a couple tablespoons probably in there and then mix this up. Right. Okay, so we're now going to light the grill. Go ahead and get the grill lighter. Okay. And light it. I showed you how to do that yesterday or a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. 
can get a burger, so. Oh, I think that's probably good enough. It's probably good enough. It'll go now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like to light it in a couple places so yeah, it does it real fast. Do. That's what but, I was trying uh, to do. But, uh, now we'll just wait about 15 minutes until this fire burns down to coals and then we'll put the food on. And one thing you will notice is I do not have the uh, grill grates over the fire while it's burning. I don't want it to um, char those, um, get them really hot, burn all the oil off. This is the oil and stuff from the last time I cooked it. Do not clean the grill after I'm done. What I'll do, I'll scrub this down with a brush, and then after the coals are hot, I'll shut the lid and let it get up to about 400 degrees and basically season this um, these grill plates and get it ready to cook on. Okay, so what we're going to do now while the grill is heating up is go ahead and cut up some vegetables and chicken to put on the grill. So I like to use a mora knife. I'm going to take these squash straight from the garden. These are patty pan squash that we grow in our garden. Just rinse these off. There's no chemicals or pesticides or anything on it. I just want to get the dust off. Got a couple of nice red onions. These are a smaller variety, so they don't make those big bulbs like, like you're used to seeing. Alright, so let's go ahead and cut up the squash first. I'm going to cut the stems off. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut these things long slices. Put on the grill. This is a short knife. I'm having trouble cutting through the squash, but I'm almost done. All right, so I've got nice lemon shaped slices of squash. Cut the root stem off. I'm not going to cut the uh, the uh, this part off, the green. I'm going to split this onion down the middle and do it again. And do here and here. One, two, three. Four. And then we're just going to spread this out and put that on the grill and just let that grill. Okay, now we're going to cut up the chicken into four pieces. So what I'm going to do is just start to cut right down the back. You can use chicken poultry shears with this or just a knife. Just be careful with it. There's bones in here. You slip and cut yourself. likes the tail. So now we got two pieces. Let's set this one over here. I'm going to cut out the leg quarter. So the way I do it, I'm no professional with this, but just cut around the skin right here. Take this out. into the breast meat and just cut that leg quarter out. There's one and two. Do this one. Let's cut the skin loose. And now we've got our four pieces of chicken to put on the grill. Cook. So there's one other thing I'm going to use in this uh, recipe. 
basically uh, it's a sugar-free G Hughes barbecue sauce. This is a honey flavored uh, barbecue. Now the reason I'm only going to use this and the Sweet Baby Ray's is because my wife and I are doing a keto diet and we do not want the sugar. So I'm going to use this for half the chicken. All right, I want to get Ellis now to mix up the barbecue sauce, but I want him to mix some Dr. Pepper in with it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Get it. Get it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, put the lid on that. And take some Dr. Pepper and pour in on top of that. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Go ahead and mix that up. We're going to baste the chicken right before it's finished with this. The flames have died out a little bit now. It's getting close to being able to cook on. So I'm just going to dump these around. Man, that's hot. Wow, that's hot. Now you do have to be careful with these. These little stainless bristles will get it in your grill. And if you're not careful, they'll stick to it. Like right here is one. And you don't want to get this in your food. So be careful about those. I'm going to set these kind of here, offset a little bit, and then I'm going to shut the grill lid and let this thing heat up nicely. As you can see that temp's going up fast. Okay, so off camera we doubled the amount of squash and put some olive oil and Himalayan salt in this bag and we're going to seal the bag and toss it. So we're going to do the same thing with the olive oil and the salt with the onions. It's going to be a little easier with these so the onions may not fall apart so bad. Alright, so we're ready to start putting chicken on the grill. Chicken on the grill. Please don't drop the chicken on the ground. I know it. You're learning. I get it. I had it slipped. Get a good grip on it. I had it. And throw some muscles. Alright, that's good. One. Eight. Two. I don't know. One way of doing it. The other chicken's gonna be ready. You know, just on the grill. That's hot. <laughs> uh, we're gonna lay it down flat at least. Yes. Yeah. All right. I had it good. Okay, now go ahead and film me putting the squash on. What we're gonna do with the squash? We're gonna take these, just stack them on here. Trying to burn yourself? Yeah. Well, I'm not over a fire at the moment. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> wow. What is That's that? a spark. I don't know what the sparks are. Maybe olive oil or uh, salt. Something sparking. I've never seen that before in my life. Now we're going to take these onions. I'm going to just try to put them right here in the middle. Now we're just going to shut the grill. Just a minute while I wash my hands. And then we'll put some of the uh, vinegar, salt, uh, lemon juice, and salt mix on the chicken. Now we've got this lemon juice, vinegar, and salt. And I think most of this salt has dissolved. It's going to, it's going to dissolve. So we're just going to take a sprayer. And just put a good coating on this chicken for a few minutes. Now we wait. Now what we're going to do is uh, basically just check this every five minutes or so. Maybe flip the chicken, put some more of uh, this liquid on it, and uh, wait for it to get done. All right, so we're going to flip the chicken now. Okay, 
flip it too early, the skin will stick to the uh, grates and rip off, so you don't want to do that. And now that we've flipped it, I'm going to go ahead and wet it with our mixture again. You may look at some of this chicken and think, man, that's getting close to done. But this chicken needs to be about 165 on the internal before it is ready. And it's not even up to 120 yet. So this chicken's got a while to go because the inside is completely raw at that temperature. Just know that. Alright, I just shut this grill. As you can see, it's riding right about 300 degrees. Now, if it's uh, a little hotter to uh, cool, you can adjust your damper and uh, I want to keep it 3 350 sometimes it hits up about 400 if I got too much charcoal in so you want to try to ride it about 3 350 but 300 is great what we'll do now is just flipping these squash flip the onions we'll leave the chicken just like it is for the moment if you want this to evenly cook most people don't think about grilling on the grill vegetables but uh we do it's so good um, some of these smaller ones when you eat them up they taste like potato chips right. these onions are soggy and soft I'm just gonna roll them flip them over They're still attached to the stem spray this chicken a little bit All right, we're checking on the chicken now, and as you can see, it's about 145 or so, 147. It's definitely not done yet. I'm going to take this thermometer out put it over here. Check this one. And let me get it in the breast meat here, good. I'm definitely not done yet, so we're going to continue to flip this meat until it reaches 165, right about where that red area is. Everything's starting to look good. Okay, this is the biggest piece right here, and it's right about 160. This one. It's going to be perfectly done. And these smaller pieces, of course, are probably going to be right about there, too. Looks like we're all good, and we're about ready to serve this up. Right before we take this up, I'm going to go ahead and Put our barbecue sauce and Dr. Pepper mix on here. Toss this over. I don't have a brush right now. Use a bristle paintbrush, a brush, a spoon, or whatever. Now, if I had a, maybe a Diet Dr. Pepper, I would mix in with this, but just for tonight. Not a big deal. A little extra flavoring on here. Now here's a secret. This is Stephanie's chicken and she's gonna take it off anyway. The skin. There ain't a whole lot in that. There's not a whole lot left. You know, I might just have to cheat on my keto diet and have some regular barbecue sauce. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Just for today. Just a bit. Speaking of keto, I was 208 in October. Now I'm 165, so look at this. Not bad. Get the sauce over the heat. It'll be ready to eat. Uh huh. Right, let's go ahead and get plates up ready to take up the squash and take this plate right here. And get the vegetables off the lower tray starting to get a little soggy right there over the hot and fall as yeah, well fall in they've shrunk a little yeah they have shrunk a little 
No matter what they look like, these things would be awesome. Oh, yeah. They looking good. Smell good, too. Get the onions. Okay. Really? Look at that. Onion. Look at that. Mm, it's kind of yum. Yummy mess right here. Yeah. Well, I got some barbecue on the onion. <laughs> other pieces. Some things down falling in the charcoal. It's lighting on fire right now. Ain't good. I'm going to set this down real quick. Shut the lid. Let that sauce cook for just a minute while we take this inside. Yum. And now we've had this uh, barbecue sauce on here for a couple minutes. You don't really have to cook it with the sauce on. Just uh, kind of a last minute thing. It's, uh, the main thing about my barbecue is, is that lemon juice, vinegar, and salt mixture while you're cooking it. And that's, that's my secret. Yeah, my dad taught me that. So now I'm teaching my son. Okay, one thing I want to do here is I like to take these grates off the heat. Don't leave them over the heat. You do that, come back and these things will be rusted out. Especially these cast iron grates. We're just going to leave that sitting over here, set these off to the side and let that, um, just let those burn down a bit before I shut the lid. Alright, well that, Ellis, is how you cook barbecue chicken in our house. All right, so Ellis has finished up his meal, and we're going to do a taste test now. So we've got chicken and onions and squash. So go ahead and give it a little bit of a bite of each. Okay. What are you going to start off with? I'm trying to start it off with some squash. All right, let's do it. I guess I don't have to do. All right, so go for it. <laughs> squash turned out really good, but a bit salty. But still good. Okay. Let's okay. go for an onion. Yes. Next time we do a video like this, you have it pre-cut and ready to go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so eat it. Yeah. Tastes really good as well. Okay. Well, let's go for the chicken. Yeah. The best part. I'm going to have to grab the little piece off. Yeah. Yeah. Got a piece right here. There we go. Alright. With the special barbecue. Yeah. That's good. That's good? Mm-hmm. How good is it? That's part. <laughs> it is real good. Is yours good? That's good too. Alright. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today at Red Barn Acres. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe and click that bell for notifications.